YouTube. Welcome to another Sweatsuit Invitational, where we've got some picks here. We've got a Waking the Trolls versus a Hammer. I have no interest in the Feed the Serpent. The Mistwalker is sort of there. There is a Shimmer Drift Veil. I guess we just take the Waking the Trolls like I had some success with it. Hammer is good. Hammer keeps us ever so slightly more open. I'm passing to Alias, and Garrett's passing to me. I think his name is Garrett. G-Guards is passing to me. <sighs> Waking the Trolls did wheel last time. So I guess we take the hammer. It keeps us just a little bit more open. It is pants. It's not a pick. It's not a helm. But it is pants. Now we get a demon bolt and then a pick. Maybe I do it. Maybe I do it. Other than like maybe AF. I don't know how picky these people are. Maybe I can be the picky person. We pass the demon bolt. Which is sort of okay. I sound staticky. Can someone else tell me if I'm staticky? Or is that just Thangarth? Because I'm in the middle of the draft, it's going to be incredibly difficult to just fix this up. Can someone else confirm? Can I get two people? Two people confirming. All right, I'm going to pull the plug on this, and we're going to see what's happening. test now you should be able to hear me let me know if it's still staticky we're taking the firewalker here over i guess the pretender there is also a raptor but i'll just take the firewalker here now is it better sound or is it worse sound pick four righteous valkyrie it's good good stuff um i'll take the righteous valkyrie here i don't mind that frostbite's not too exciting there's a berg strider but whatever i don't really want to play blue Take a Righteous Valkyrie, go red-white with a pick and a hammer? I don't mind. I don't mind. This Valkyrie is fine. It's not amazing, but it's fine. And if this is a giant signal that uh, G-Guards and Jim and Matt aren't in white, I'll take that signal. Following up from there, we've got a Dwarven Reinforcements, a Shield Mate. This pack is exceptionally bad. There's an Axe Guard Armory, which is not the worst. But I think I honestly just want the two drop here. This could also wheel, I think. It's not a great card. But it's an okay card. But I'd rather the Shield Mate here. We really want to see, we really want to get a bound, uh, bound in gold. Uh, for X Guard Armory to really pick up. But let's take that shield mate. Mm, we get another shield mate versus another reinforcements. There's also a Kin Seekers here, not bold, a priest. I'm pretty happy to lock myself into white here and try to go a little bit aggro y. So let's take the shield mate here as well. So it's a decent aggro start. It's similar to what my last three O's were. My last three three O's, by the way. I also haven't played since that spiky Saturday video. <laughs> but there's not really any signals here, except perhaps blue is open with the Kin Seekers. Maybe they just don't value the Kin Seekers. Uh, we get a Raven. Oh, we get another very late Firewalker and an Axe Guard Cavalry, and frankly, a Braggart and a Raven's Wings. 
Firewalker's the best, but this tells me I know where I am in this pod. And I'll take that Firewalker. We can try to run some people over. So match one, we will be up against Jim, who's uh, two seats away from us. So hopefully he's going nice and slow and we can just steamroll over. Mm, wings of Cosmos. Wings of the Cosmos. I saw people saying this is apparently one of the most winningest cards these days. Because it's a huge tempo play, right? I still think that it's basically Snakeskin Veil, but white. Which is fine. I like Snakeskin Veil. And we're going to pick it here. But I think this is one of those cards where people fall prey to the stats and they go, oh, the stats tell us this is the most win winningest card. We should play a bunch of these. And that's not true. Iron Verdict on the wheel, along with a Predator and a Wings and a Frenzied Raider. We have our pick of what we want. We have our absolute, absolute pick. I'm doing this for a gag, and I hope it doesn't bite me. It didn't even zoom in on the pick. We have our pick of this pack, and I think I am going to take the verdict here. Although Raider could do some work, and in the last second, I'm going to switch over into Raider, actually. We get a braggart or a verdict again. I mean, we're drafting like we're on the ladder. We should be drafting like we're in a pod, except I think that's the same this time around. I think I want the verdict here. I don't want many, but I think I'll take that verdict. We get a gold maw, which I've been told the limited resources subreddit says is weak. Um, but I think I'll take it over the braggart. Maybe I want the first braggart over it. No, I think I want the first champion over it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a verdict. Sure. I don't know if I want to play two, but I, I think we know exactly what seat we're supposed to be in, eh? Didn't I do the draft review last Spiky Saturday? Yeah, I did the draft review last Spiky Saturday, and I have not drafted the format since. Dwarven Reinforcements will make the deck. We haven't taken a card we're not playing yet. Now we're finally going to take a card we're not going to play. <laughs> Yeah, this pod feels, oof, heck yeah. This pod feels like it's blue, green, black, I guess. Um, Do we get any sort of reward? We get a Tormentor's Helm and a Story Seeker. This is an exceptionally good first pick for us, but this pack does not give us a lot of choices. We're taking the Helm for sure. The Helm's great. After that, we take the Story Seeker. And after that, I think we're basically hate drafting because this pack is not deep for us. But Tormentor's Helm is something I'm very excited to see, so we'll pick that up. I really hope that Story Seeker wheels, and it looked like nobody was in white. It's also a cleric for our Righteous Valkyrie. We don't have any other clerics at the moment, but that's fine, that's fine. Let's take that Helm. What if I was the pants deck this week? And then if all goes to plan, we can beat Semulin in the semifinals with his own pants. Um, so somebody took the rare. Another pretty mediocre pack for us. We'll take the run amok. But like, this pack isn't for us like the last pack wasn't for us. This pack isn't for many people. This, I think, is the Eldraine problem, right? The rare was probably great. Binding is very good. I like Vicious Return. Squash is good in a particular deck. The rest of this is deeply mediocre. Deeply mediocre, but we'll just take Run Amok. Pants decks have won each week, right? Was Semulin in a pants deck last week? He was in a fast deck, but I don't remember if he was pants. And then Michael won with pants the week before. Yeah, I see the run amok this time. I've learned my lesson. Uh, Kaya's Onslaught is a cute way of winning. And again, this is not a pack for us. <laughs> Other than, I guess, the Kaya's Onslaught. Sem was pants? What colors was he? I thought he was... I 
I thought he was like slightly, he was green red. What were his pants? I remember him being green red. I remember him being very fast and he steamrolled Hunter in the last match. I don't recall his pants. So yeah, this is an onslaught, which I don't even know that I want to play, really. But there's just nothing else here. There's a vault robber, I guess. Or there's more dwarven reinforcements. Bow and hammer? Okay. Okay, so like we're not getting cut. Like here's a helm, here's a firewalker. I think we take the I think we take the second helm over the third firewalker. I think. It's close. I don't think it's coarser. It would only make hammer and pick cheaper. I'm not seeing any runes through pick, pack one and pack two, pick four, which is concerning. You take the firewalker, make sure we have creatures. I think we've got a lot of creatures already. And all creatures are replaceable. We've got eight. Yeah, I'm going to take the second helm. Um, there's an axe guard cavalry that I want to see. I, I wonder if alias is in... I think Alias might be in white. And I wonder if maybe Alias also went red because I passed her that demon bolt. But that's fine, because that means pack three will get massively hooked up from the from the left again. Or from the right. But yeah, we'll take the Axgar Cavalry here. This card is just bad. Yeah, any 2-2 two -two will wear the helm. Now the Firewalker is amazing absolutely amazing fantastic uh craven hulk i'll play a craven hulk i don't really want a code spell cleric even though it is nice and cheap but i'll play a craven hulk is reckless crew not worth it even in pants no because you got to remember the floor of that card is four mana do literally nothing which is simply not a card you can play yeah i don't mind a craven hulk it wears pants really well uh, the blocking is not really that much of a downside, so we'll pick that up. The other benefit we have going on right now is this is absolutely a 16 card deck or a 16 land deck. Um, I think I'll take more Dwarven reinforcements over another Iron Verdict. I don't know that I want to play two. I certainly don't want to play three, but I will play a pair of Dwarven reinforcements, and I don't want this Ox. I feel like I've seen this pack over and over and over and over and over in pack two. I don't like it. Let's take the reinforcements. <laughs> we've, we've still taken one card we're not going to play. Okay, so this is the last pick before the wheel. I feel like this was our opening pack. Maybe we didn't have Tegrid Shadow. There's not anything here. So this, I think, is where we're drafting in pod. We take the Tegrid Shadow. We don't want to play against Tegrid Shadow. It'll be very annoying. So we take that. Now, there's a very low chance that we'll play against it. But there's a chance. It's a lot higher than if you're in League. Uh, again, here, I'm not taking a Revitalize, so I'm looking at taking the Way Down or the Glade Warden, and I think the Way Down might just be better. Looks like maybe not many people are in black. I don't know what the signals are telling me from this direction. I, I would think that it's that I'm getting massively cut. But like I didn't have the cards in pack two, pick two or pick three. They just weren't there at all. So I guess we'll take the ox. That can come in from the sideboard if somebody is more aggressive than us rather than hate out like a Carter's vicious return. Um, we've got another Wings here or a Vault Robber. Creature count should be like 12 now. 10? Okay. Um, I'll take another Wings just because they are a really big tempo play. And we're going to look to start taking out like the Kaya's Onslaught and one of these Verdicts, I think. Oh, and we got to remember our creatures include two Dwarven Reinforcements as well. Hey, hey, Firewalker came back. Perfect. Perfect. We're not getting cut on red. We are absolutely 100% not getting cut on red. 
it just wasn't in this pack apparently I'll take a reckless crew but i don't want it yes the hammer will also almost always be a creature uh we'll take a return up on the tide somebody might play that nobody should be playing roots of wisdom though and a strategic planning sure all right pack three we don't need much give me something instead you gave me essentially nothing we've got a doomscar oracle which is fine it'll go in the deck but it's not amazing we'll take that over the 17th wings we've seen for a smashing success yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll take the doomscar and that's a two drop all right we're looking for at least two more picks so our creature count is now 15 ish there's a dual land but we're not splashing we're not splashing for green looking for two more playables preferably some power the story seeker didn't come around What is with these packs? Like we get a helm. But maybe these packs are just bad. Because after the helm, the rest of these cards are pretty mediocre. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. But yeah, like this is helm or the sideboard invoke. So a common was taken. And it may have been a Doom Bolt, which means maybe G Guards is now in red. Stranger. Stranger. Let's take the helm. Invoke Might Wheel, yeah. <laughs> uh, not getting cut. Our cards just stopped existing for a while. that's an easy showdown of the skulls we can cast like we have two four drops we're going to cast so many cards which will be so many counters heck yeah get in the deck so here's our deck now we're looking to polish it and then we're looking to run some people over How do I polish this deck with another pick? There's also an angel. I think it's the stupid pick. I think it's the stupid pick. We're a bit low on pants. Pardon? Pick? Helm, helm, helm? But I think it's the pick. This Valkyrie might even come back around. Uh, fine, I'll take the Angel. Because I did want to replace like one of these wings. Ooh, a Demon Bolt. Ooh, a Fearless Liberator. I want the Fearless Liberator over the Demon Bolt. I think I've just learned my lesson about this format. I don't like the lesson, but I think I've learned my lesson. How much are we boasting? Firewalker, 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 Bragger, Goldmaw. Not a ton, and I don't think it'll get super out of control, so I think I'd rather take the Liberator and cut the Raider. Hey, Grav, how's it going? Not much here. We're looking at like a sideboard shackles. I don't know if we upgrade anything here. But we we could upgrade this Doomscar Oracle maybe to like an Immerstrom or a Shield Mate. I don't mind the Shield Mate. Like if we're just gonna jam pants on things, if it's a one-one, hey, it's got three hats and a pick in its hand. 
Okay, let's get rid of the, the Doom Scar. And bring in another shield mate. <laughs> another friggin' reckless crew. Um is three helm that good? Yeah. Yeah. Equipment's kind of busted in this format. Um so another gold maw. I don't know if the gold maw replaces anything. There's a chance it replaces one of the reinforcements. But I don't think so. Creature count is 16-ish right now. Is Valkyrie Sword an option? No, Valkyrie Sword is awful. Super, super, super bad. Berserker could be an upgrade. Could honestly be an upgrade to the Gold Maw Champion. Uh, this Valkyrie is going to be a two drop as well. Maybe it even replaces a Verdict. Like, as I was saying, if you attack, you don't have to care about removal. Uh, we'll take a smashing for the sideboard for sure. Yeah, exactly. What is removal? Yeah, Valkyrie Sword just costs way, way, way too much to get your creature out of it. It costs way too much to equip. It only is plus two, plus one. It doesn't even give flying and vigilance. It's no good. All right, now we're pa back to packs that we don't care about. We can take a Trickster's God Revenge. Hmm. Hmm. Um, so Axe Guard Armory is only ever getting us one piece of... Uh, it's getting us an equipment and a showdown. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, just casually getting showdown of the skull should be okay. I've got a shackle for the sideboard. And we still need a cut. Creature count is up to 14... Um, ooh, verdict, uh, or invoke rather, um, 14, 15, 16, 17 ish creatures. <laughs> Two reckless crews. Oh, it's aura, not enchantment. Oh yeah. I don't think we'll even actually play that card. Or a not enchantment. Pusha. So there were literally no runes in that draft. And white also disappeared. Pack one, white seemed the most open I've ever seen it. Pack two, pack three, white was gone. So we're at 25 plus 15. I obviously want one more land. And I want one card out. Uno Cardo Auto. I think it might just be one of the Dwarven Reinforcements. Get the Hammer? Well, we could get the Hammer if we don't draw it. Otherwise, then we're getting a Helm, right? Yeah, we got a lot of three ups. We got three Firewalkers, three Helms, three Shieldmates. It's like a really bad constructed deck right there. It's just a Tap Planes that can fetch it. Yeah, but that Tap Planes can ruin us. Especially for playing six lands or six six lands, sixteen lands. <clears throat> like if it doesn't do anything for me, it's a downside to play it. Especially because we have to sack it to uh, go and get the the thing. Hmm. I think it might be one of these dwarven reinforcements. All right. Let's export that. Hmm, play four lands, that's where the curve stops. Fair, fair. This deck seems good. It can absolutely steal some wins. It can absolutely steal some wins here. 
especially if Jim's maybe not ready for it. Yeah, I think we're good. So what do we have in the sideboard? We've got wings, ox if we find out that we're somehow not the beatdown. There is still this frenzied raider. Boast, boast, boast. Boast, boast. Boast. Probably not good enough. Doom scar. We've got an invoke for the sideboard, another verdict for the sideboard, shackles for the sideboard, smashing success for the sideboard, although we would put in invoke the divine over the smashing unless there's a land we need to get rid of. Um, take out the two, three, put in Elsaid. Just Elsaid of life's bounty. Um, all right, I think that's our deck. I'm going to go on a very quick break. Um, enjoy some words on stream, and I will be right back. Hey, YouTube, we're here for round two. One, got ahead of myself there. We'll be here for round two, too. But right now, we're here for round one against Jim Davis, MTG. We're going to play first, of course, because we're the aggro go fast deck. And this is how the aggro go fast deck works. Shield made on two. Probably a firewalker on three. We'll see. But this is how this deck works. Helm on one. Ooh, arena. Arena. Smoother, please. Smoother. Black, white, snow. Good stuff. Give me one more turn with nothing. Just a real nice slow start. That's what I'm looking for. But yeah, we'll go Firewalker because then next turn we can go Firewalker equipped to our previous Firewalker or Shield Mate as is appropriate. And go from there. Black, white, a green, eh? Finn. Okay, so you're going to make me equip it. Get in for three and we'll drop a shield, mate. We're going to want to explore a way of dealing with Finn. An early blocker is one of the ways that our deck fails. Fortel, yeah, he's obviously full up on snow. So we'll smash in, drop a firewalker, move this, move this over to the shield mate, and then we've got two pretty good attacks here plus a boast. So what did we see? I don't think we saw anything in these colors really. Just a couple of blizzard brawls kicking around, which is gross. Um, I remember passing a struggle. I don't feel like we saw many rares in this draft at all. Skull raid, sure. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Another foretelling. Um, so let's go in in. And then we'll look to boast on that Firewalker. Yeah, let's boast on the Firewalker. Braggart can't cast it, but that's fine. We'll drop the Liberator here. And we will move the Helm over to the Shieldmate. Yeah, game one, match one right now. So that Skull Raid wasn't the worst, but it was not the best. We now need to close out the game absolutely as soon as humanly possible. Because we're not going to have many resources anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you're damn right. You got to provide more support. <laughs> Spirit blocks decently but maybe not fast enough. I figure he blocks the Liberator and takes three, four, five, and goes to six, and the Liberator just replaces itself. I wanted a week off, but there was no way that I wasn't going to play the, uh, the Sweatsuit Invitational. 
So we go in, he'll block the liberator. We'll replace the liberator. And then we'll pass the turn. But I think we're in trouble unless we find one of our flyers at this point. Yeah. Yeah, like the other streams I can take off because they're less important than the sweatsuit invitational. But I need to shut that door, like this coming turn. <laughs> Deck Y. Um, so in we go. He doesn't have the block with the Faceless Haven, notably. So block there. Feed, okay. Go to four. We suit this up, and now we're in trouble. We need to not flood here, and that's what we're doing. Gonna be hold. So now we're looking for one of our two flyers hey did i leave goldma in i don't remember if i left goldma in or not i should have still have the window open right um i did leave goldma in okay another spirit not a fan Ooh, not a fan of that. So we're a little locked into attacking now because this is just dying next turn. Yeah, we stumbled. That skull raid was probably very good. So he's playing around the uh, the run amok here. So we'll ping, get our token, drop that, power up the token. So that should force him to kill the cavalry just because he's dead if we draw like a flyer here. Definitely miss KDM, addicted to do the awesome game because the time issue magic is getting played a lot less. Yeah, I, I might still do KDM tomorrow, we'll see. We'll see. But you know, like the, the whole issue with streaming is just not having the viewership to justify it, right? So if the viewers go up, then it's easier to justify. But boy, we needed him to not have two Spirit of Elder Guards sitting here. <sighs> Seven. Okay, he's going to force a block here. He gets to kill one of my creatures, attack in with everything. I have to block a 7-4. Um, yeah. So I have to block here, because otherwise we're taking 16. We take 10, go to 4. And we now have no way of winning, I don't think. Not bold. <laughs> Oh boy, somehow we flooded out with uh with 16 lands. It's 2 a.m. in Germany. Fair, fair. I don't expect everybody to be there, especially with time zones. But I gotta have some people there, you know? So smashing success honestly seems like a, a thing here. He's got a greedy land base. We've got a priority land to kill here. We've got a priority land to kill here. Oh, Supermind bringing it in? does replace itself is wings doing much wings doesn't seem like it's doing much his stuff is much more killy in the immediate way this deck is just built to kill us I, I disagree I don't think this deck is built to kill us at all I think we just stumbled there for a turn like if he didn't skull raid us there he was probably just dead
All right. We go back in. <clears throat> and we don't flood. We do not flood. Yeah. Could we run 15 lands with this curve? Hell no. Hell no. If you're in best of one, sure. Have at it. But in best of three, no, 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 no. It's not that unlikely. But it was just a pretty perfectly timed mind rot, really. All right, so we're going to be on the play. Just need a good aggro start. Let's play first. It's slow, but I'll keep it. I don't want to go about the first round. Skull Red's one of the better mind rots. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good mind rot. The way this format is shaken out, I'm still not a big fan of playing it, at least not on the ladder. Or, sorry, ladder. I don't play on the friggin' ladder um, in leagues, but. Hey, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Our curve's perfect. We can even attack through basically anything but Finn. I just need to see like a tap land here. Give me a tap land and let me hit for five. That's a tap land and letting me hit for five. There's a chance we're going to have to ask for a second red source at some point. So run amok gets us through this. But so does just playing a showdown. So run amok, he puts that in front of the breakneck. We play run amok. My plus three cancels out his life gain. He takes two and he loses his coma. Following turn, we don't do that much. So I'd rather showdown, maybe get a mountain, be able to run amok and axe guard cavalry. And there's a chance that I actually want to send it in anyways. I think I want to send them in anyways and see what he does. He does block there. I think I'm happy to trade. So he still takes two. We mill. That's fine. Mill has no effect on me. <laughs> firewalker, firewalker, pick. Forest, forest, serpent. Rose. There's the mountain I wanted. So we can jam a fearless liberator, perhaps a run amok or an axe guard cavalry. Or we could do Fearless Liberator Goldmon. That's probably the better choice, eh? Hey? Super off the snow to be activating Faceless. Well, not super anymore. Two off, one off the snow. So that's presumably just the Behold or possibly the Skull Raid. So we'll play this mountain. We will Fearless Liberator. Counter on the shield mate. We will Gold Maw Champion. Counter on the shield mate. Smash in for four. Just the behold. So he's going to 12. And then we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 ish power. Yeah, the life gain would have messed that up. So this has put him in basically find an answer or lose territory. So he top bottomed. Oh, they go away right away. Gross. Skull Raid, I think that's fine. We'll drop the Braggart. 
Oh, he's basically tapped out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's basically tapped out. Yeah, we should just win here, I think. So we play the Valkyrie. We suit up this. Run amok here. Woo! <clears throat> All right, that's what the deck's supposed to do. That's what the deck's supposed to do. I might want to go even lower curve, like cut the Hulk or something. You're a two drop. I, I, I don't think we're playing an Iron Verdict. I think if we're in a situation that we're playing an Iron, iron Verdict, we're losing, right? I think we're flat out losing a game that we have to cast an Iron Verdict. Hmm. don't know that we can lower the curve further. All right, let's go back in. Let's do that again. That's the way the deck's supposed to work. Mm-hmm. Two two drops, a land away from a Valkyrie, two lands away from a showdown. Not being on the play is going to hurt us, but honestly, not being on the play hurts everybody in this format. This format has the most significant on the play win advantage of any format ever on Arena. Ever. Just ever. It's kind of poopy. Kind of poopy. All right, so I'm looking at that Valkyrie this coming turn. That Priest is already super online, which is kind of gross. He'd have to have one more land to kill the Valkyrie, so I'm happy to play the Valkyrie here. And that is not an attack. Our smashing success looks amazing right now. But... On the play and a slow start, it's probably going to favor him quite a bit. Hmm. Blizzard Brawl. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, wait, indestructible. Less okay. Significantly less okay. That's awful. That's awful for us. Um, he's down to three cards. I think we're going to have to have a heck of a showdown turn, right? Let's go in. Let's have him fear the... Uh, ooh, instant speed effect. Instant speed effect. Instant speed effect. Oh, the instant speed effect was probably just the Faceless Haven. Because technically you could use it its own mana to pay for itself because it yeah um so let's go in let's threaten the run amok he might just take it he does not just take it <sighs> let's spread out the board as much as we can so dwarven reinforcements here he's off blue But this has become a more stressful game. One in which I worry about the chance of a round two. Hmm. 
My hope is that he just keeps using one to one removal because we should be able to get through that pretty well. I will 100% trade here. Can't even stop me. Vrona Muck Valkyrie Hulk? Why? Oh, behold, Sculptured Rider. Okay, okay, okay. Land for turn, uh-huh. So yeah, he's got 11 more life than uh, than starting. That's fine. That's fine. Another priest? He's basically out of, uh, out of stuff here. So let's slam. And welcome to the jam. Let's see if he wants to give it up for a run amok. We'll turn on full control to be sneaky here. He's thinking about the run amok. Thinks about the run amok. Wonders if he wants to throw away another priest. The trick is we're going to have to always pretend that we're having a run amok, even though our run amok's gone. So we, we, we did it. We started the trick of having a run amok. We have begun the trick. Uh, flood the board, I guess. He's down to one card. Uh, I need to play around Skull Raid, though. I really need to play around Skull Raid. I guess we show down here. Those are all very nice and cheap, and we've got a smashing success. Oops, sorry. Okie dokie. We can also blow up that forest that's got the glittering frost on it. One, two, three, four, five. We've got six mana. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to play that Smashing Success. I guess we have seven mana if we play the Smashing Success. So we could play Mountain, Smashing Success, Gold Vein Pick. Ooh, I don't want to deal with a 7-4. I don't want to deal with an 8-4. I can't deal with an 8-4. Well, yeah, maybe we can deal with an 8-4. So he's got to think about whether or not he wants to uh, stop me from getting an extra counter here, and he does not muchly care we play this mountain. So he's got one, two, three, four, five. So he can kill whatever he wants. So we shouldn't focus on getting an equipment on something. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Doesn't give you a treasure unless you kill an artifact. Oh, correct, correct. So we've got six mana. So that's like a smashing success and a pick. So I guess this would be our smashing successing the faceless haven. And maybe pick's not as vital anymore. So we smashing success the haven. Jam a counter on this 2-1. And then, yeah, the pick's just not that important anymore. So we shield mate, jamming a counter on this shield mate. And we don't attack. So following turn, we have seven mana. We could dwarven hammer and shield mate get two more counters because there's a chance that he priests the dwarf priests the shield mate attacks with spirit we just take seven we go to nine i'm fine going to nine priest the dwarf priest the shield mate does not priest the shield mate well, that's fine by me. Let's get ourselves a Dwarven Hammer here. And 
and then another shield mate. Let's go like this. And then let's send in this shield mate. I assume he just takes four. He's at a big enough life total. Brine Barrow Intruder. Oh. Oh, that's pretty gross. Okay, so now he's looking at priesting the hammer. Still no real attack because we can double block and kill the spirit. Land for turn, so now we're sort of into who top decks better. Theoretically, in a 16 land, I should top deck better. But in a snow deck, he probably has more powerful stuff. But I'm the friggin' mana leak, so... Mana. Mana is all we see. So I guess we send the dwarf in to trade with the intruder and then move the hammer over and we just begin the uh, the pants process the process of trading the pants we turn this five one or we turn this one one into a five one and then this one into a six two and then it's token into a five one and the pants process continues on we hold lands back from now on we never need to play another, so his Skull Raid does not become a full-on divination. We probably shouldn't have played that land that I played this turn. Let's not get immediately punished for it. Just don't immediately punish me for it. We've lost, what, both of our flyers or one of our flyers? We've lost both of our flyers, so we have no reach left. We've lost our run amok. So we're actually kind of what I would describe as extraordinarily boned if he continues to draw stuff not moving the hammer i should have done that too um but again tight plays are not what you're here for uh we'll jam this onto the one one so maybe that gold mock can start doing something here maybe not anymore but that's fine that's fine Land for turn. Let's send in this 4 1. At some point, he's going to have to block. Takes it. Let's drop the cavalry. Let's move the hammer over to the raider. He is statistically more likely to be hitting lands than I am. Not Vold Recluse, another low toughness. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Has he already cast one of his Blizzard Brawls? He has, and he might have a second one, because we did see at least two in that draft. Don't need those. So I'll attack and trade with the Recluse. That's fine. A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. Takes three down to 14. We move the hammer over to the shield mate. We pass the turn. So his skull raid at least is now offline. We basically have full control over one of his cards in his deck being dead. So we're going to come on in for five. He's going to take it. And we're going to move that over to the shield mate. And we're going to drop a Fearless Liberator and pass the turn. Pants, man. Pants are nuts. Pants are absolutely stupid in this format. He's looking at his graveyard. He's got to raise the dragger. Oh, he's got a port of Carfell. So we want to kill him before that port of Carfell goes off because he'll get back a priest, maybe? Maybe a coma is faithful to gain some, uh, gain some life. It's going to pop the Liberator. With Tormentor's Helm.
So we torment his helm up this. He's forced to block it. If, if this is nothing, he's forced to block it. And he still takes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He still takes lethal. If this is removal, we're in trouble. So let's let's do let's do the check for instant speed. No instant speed effect. We go in for all. Unless he had hit pass turn, in which case, bravo. But if that's nothing in hand, this is a win. Locks there, ping, trample, pants. Hey YouTube, we're back for round two. After the pants dance had success, and we're up against Wizard 138. I'm not familiar with Wizard 138. So I know nothing about them whatsoever. Yeah, Showdown did a lot of work too. Um, we'll have to find a mountain for this to work. We do have nine red sources, I believe. And we still get a shield mate. Was that a mulligan sound? I wish there was a log or more information in Arena. But we'll keep this, especially in the blind. I felt like that was a mulligan sound, but no, it was not a mulligan sound. Okay. Hey, look at that. We found we found a red source after all. We got a frost pyre, so we might be looking at red blue gigantes. What I'm hoping for is a me G-Guards finish of this pod again. So that he can win <laughs> and avenge that disgusting thing that I did to him. Um, this is an interesting turn. We're not boasting for a while. So I think we're on shield mate here. And then next turn, it'll be hook up shield mate cast cavalry, maybe. But let's drop the shield mate. There's no mods in chat to actually do their job. I'm going to have to do their job. I'm going to have to ban people. Naming giant, that's extremely fair. <laughs> let's zoom zoom please and then yeah I think we'll go cavalry so that we can make a hasty valkyrie because what likely happens here is we try to go as fast as humanly possible in the air which does mean we have to dodge a demon bolt that we passed and a frostbite that we passed and a squash that we passed they've got one to one removal we just have to you know dodge it and so i don't actually want to run that valkyrie out i don't want to run that valkyrie out at all i want to attack with team here i think Although, no, if they have Frostbite, well, if they have Frostbite, they use it on my cavalry or whatever, and I'm pretty okay with that. Plus, that'll make our Valkyrie cheaper. So let's try to get some removal out of here. The dubs. The dubs. I'll try to kill that Pretender. Please? I'd really like to kill the Pretender. Squash the Cavalry. This is super okay. Super duper okay. Let's get a Valkyrie down for cheap. And then let's get a... Let's get another shield mate down. Super okay with how that turn went. 
I'm afraid for what it means for the future, but I'm super okay with how that turn went. Hammer. All right. All right. You think we're racing? You think we're racing? And that's a, an astute observation. There's a chance that we are. Let's suit up the shield mate and attempt a race. I'm coming in for six. What are you doing? Trading? Totally fine. Totes fine. Uh, let's go Liberator. Hook up the Valkyrie. All right, Valkyrie. Let's go to victory. We already got rid of a squash. Okay, it's going to keep the Valkyrie down for a little bit. Wait, wait. Oh, he did. I hate that Bergstrider, I feel like Bergstrider sometimes plays an animation on the Valkyrie or on the, the creature that it hits and then sometimes just doesn't play the animation. It's very dumb. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need to jam this breakneck into the Bergy here. So let's breakneck, hook it up, smash it in. Get rid of Bergy. Pretty happy with that. So if we can just dodge a Frostbite here, we can put Stalwart Valkyrie out of anything except for um, whatchamacallit range. And this hammer looks very good as well. Um, so yeah, let's suit up Valkyrie. Tell me what you got. What do you have? You just have an activation of Mistwalker. Mm, you've got something more than an activation of Mistwalker, don't you? What's this? This is red. You do have a frostbite. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. So now I guess we're on Fearless Liberator, which is still fantastic. If he blocks, he takes two. If he doesn't block, he takes four. Takes four, goes to seven. Dwarven Hammer looks kind of gross attached to that Liberator. Although we don't have the mana for that, do we? That would be six mana. It's a whole lot of mana. Got themselves a 4-4. Four, four. Let's uh, ask them to give it up. Give up your 4-4, four, four, please. And take two. And then I think we'll just make a, uh, a Dwarven Hammer token. Because then we can suit it up next turn. And this might be game one. Yeah, Afflict is one of my least favorite mechanics, and Afflict is basically exactly what the Tormentor's Helm does. Uh, so they're Certland, which is fine, because we're just going to replace these with uh, reinforcements. Totally fine with that. And we'll suit one of them up. Calamity Bearer. Yike. All right. In for seven. The double block. That's fair. Let's kill them both. Double afflict. Move it over. Move it over. One turn, have nothing. Oh, he's got a Faceless Haven too. There were two Faceless Havens in that draft, weren't we? Weren't there? Um, so he blocks with what? A Faceless Haven here? Oh, he can't. No, he can activate it. So we just jam the helm on or the hammer on and he dies to the Faceless Haven blocking. <laughs> that was a pretty good depart the realm that was a pretty good depart the realm so we're going to hope that he activates that faceless haven here and we get to iron verdict it when it attacks that's what he's going to do this is... why can't I 
Does it have vigilance? Why does it have vigilance? Why does it have vigilance? Who okayed that? Who? Who? Dak. <laughs> Dak, please. Half of our land in the top half of our deck. I guess that's approximately appropriate. <sighs> Magic the Gathering, folks. Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's got some big things. I don't mind the shackles of treachery. Yeah, that was terrible. That that was Magic the Gathering, you know. Um, Y'all know me. Some people will say, well, that's Magic the Gathering, and you just have to deal with it. And I'll say that's Magic the Gathering, and it kind of makes it a less than ideal game. Um, so shackles on those giants seems very good i don't mind one of them coming in the wings should be decent ish against a frostbite and a squash and a frostfire so we're going to keep the wings in for sure um obviously going fast has a chance of doing well against them so i wouldn't mind just Knocking my curve down a bit, like the Axe Guard Braggart. Dravenhulk's just a lot more mana, or a lot more um, power. So Iron Verdict, Iron Verdict. What's Iron Verdict going to do? Maybe we're just in this situation where Iron Verdict is terrible in our deck, and we just don't want to play removal. Because if we're playing removal, we're losing. And then I guess the question becomes again, do we want to lower our curve again? Do we want to drop in a frenzied raider, raider over like a braggart or a craven hulk? And I think we might want to. All right, so let's try this. Uh, we're going to be on the play. Which we weren't in game one, I think. Can't remember. Playing first. Frenzied Raider with a pick. I like that. I like that a lot. Frenzied Raider with a pick on turn three. Oh, it's going to fix our mana. It's going to be great. Tormentor's Helm? Sure. Frenzied Raider down. We just have to dodge a Frostbite. Just have to draw, dodge a Frostbite. We dodged the Frostbite. We're good. We're good. In we go, get ourselves a treasure. It's going to fix our mana up. That's going to ramp us. Now we've got run amok and we've got gold Maw champion and we've got all kinds of stuff that we can do. We're going to keep in mind that frost pyre activating it as two, three, four, five, six lands need to be on the table. Pilfering Hawk picks up that pretty okay with that let's smash on in see if we can get a frostbite out of them here if we can then we'll run amok in response no blocks that's good by me it's five mana that we're working with it's time for us to go with so they're not in squash territory so i guess braggart and give it the pick Or maybe we don't even give it the pick just so that we can keep our white mana available. I think we keep our white mana available. And then we'll see if we can get in with the gold vein this coming turn. I think he's just going to loot. Yeah, just a loot here. Throw away land. Big expensive spell that you might not get to cast. Orvenhammer. 
Are they digging for a land? Well, they got another Sertland Pyre. So we're just going to keep dodging that, eh? Uh, well, time for us to go in. And then we'll, we can activate Braggart, depending on blocks here. Hey, Super Performance, how's it going? We are in round a two. Oh, do I want to activate? Because we're not going to get the pick here. We're not going to get the pick. Or the pick treasure. Um, so I don't necessarily want the gold mod champion down. There's a chance I just want the tormentor helms down. So let's see what happens here without activating. I'm somewhat expecting a frostbite, in which case this run amok is going to be good. Uh, just a desperate loot. Feels like a desperate loop. Desperate loot. Good, good, good. Um, so. Yeah, let's go Tormentor's Helm. Tormentor's Helm. Equip, get it out of demon, whatchamacallit, range. And I want to keep that white of mana available. Yeah, activating is pretty ballsy. Especially with two white cards in hand, right? <sighs> Berg Strider going to keep the Raider tap down. That's pretty okay. This Wings is really cute. This Wings is really, really cute. No, I want the pick to go over, please. I want the pick to go over. And actually, I guess I want the Helm to go over as well. And we'll come on in for five. I don't think he'll block. In which case, we get another treasure too. So if he's not going to block, then we do activate because we'll have our, our white source from the next treasure. So we get in for six, counter on the raider, treasure, hold that for wings. And this seems pretty okay. It's a very seriously lethal run amok. Very seriously lethal run amok. I really want to see a squash and we save our creature with the wings. Thinking. So he's off his Cinderheart Giants. Um. Squash. Uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. <laughs> Raven form? All right. That's fair. Boy, howdy, are we going to suit this bird up? Let me tell you what. This bird? This bird's just going to hold everything. Bird, get in. Bird's got so many hands. I guess one hand and two heads for the helm. It's what our deck does. It's what our deck does. We just have to do that again. I like lowering the curve. I really like lowering the curve. We don't have as many ways to do it. I think we just go back in. I like that one shackles. I think we just go back in. Go back in and see if we can uh, make it to the finals of the pod. I would like to, to try to win a pod again. I feel like if I can get two semifinals appearances in two tournaments or in three tournaments. I should start to get some credibility, right? Mm. Okay. Okay. We can find our red sources. We've got a Valkyrie on three. We've got wings to protect it.
We've got a lot of red sources in the deck. There's probably one on top. Let's see? Let's see? That's a cavalry into a Valkyrie. Into us protecting the ever living hell out of that Valkyrie. This Valkyrie must survive. It has no choice but to survive. Faceless Haven can't be activated. Perfect. Oh, what are these? What are these? What are these? One can be a Raven form. Do we play a champion on three? I'm thinking about it. They both represent two damage. And Righteous Valkyrie doesn't die. It dies to a, it dies to a Demon Bolt, I suppose. So we probably play the Gold Maw, yeah. We haven't seen a Demon Bolt out of them yet. But they're off Squash mana. Frostbite's not going to do it. They don't have blue mana to Raven form it. I just want to know what these are. I want to know if they're Demon Bolts, if they're Dwarven Reinforcements, or what they are. That's a pass of a turn. Mist land. I mean, I think we try to shut the door with Showdown, right? I guess if we're shutting the door with Showdown, we do it after combat to see if they have anything. They don't have anything, so let's shut the door. Let's shut the door. This will basically refill our hand with four mountains as we drew it up. <laughs> There's a blue source. I wonder if they'll raven form the showdown. Just to stop some amount of damage. That's nine of our lands in our top 15 cards. Crush the weak. Okay, followed up by a frostbite. Please no. Thank you. So, mountain for turn. Firewalker, counter on the champion. Suit up champion. Yeah, that is four lands in a row we would have drawn, and that would have been horrible. So we come on in for four. Is this just to depart the realm? That's totally fine. Totally fine. And then we will hold up the wings, because that protects us against everything except for squash. Land for turn. Mistwalker is pretty okay. Suit it up. Make it a 2-5. No? Okay. Pretty okay with that. Alright. I want to drop us a Frenzied Raider. <clears throat> Counter. And then I'm going to smash on in here. And look to boast, I believe. Boast, get a counter. Boast, get a counter. <laughs> I'll play another Firewalker. Jam a counter on the Frenzy Raider. Oh, okay. Things are looking okay. We've got to dodge like a Battle of Frost and Fire, which I think we saw which is the worst. I think we saw a Battle of Frost and Fire. Tap in carefully. Tap in carefully for a Fortel. Suiting up. Passing the turn. All right. Let's suit up. Oh, what are the odds they're playing another? If they're playing another Depart, we want the Helm to be on this Firewalker. We come in with Team. They have to block. 
like the firewalker or the raider um squash does six right we need that to whip there we go so now squash is not gonna kill anything so we come in with team squashing that uh 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 in with team somewhat has to block that raider but we get to keep the raider alive this is round two one and one yes so we activate a firewalker and then we activate a firewalker so it lives kills the mistwalker <laughs> helm helm <laughs> Um, and then we jam the gold moss so that we have lethal next turn by tapping whatever his blocker is down. And I think we've got a round three in the books. Mistwalker. Uh, that's a lot of blockers. That's a lot of blockers. I mean, I don't super care, but that's a lot of blockers. Oops. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't tap. Brah. I didn't tap, but it doesn't really matter. I'm bad at magic. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure, let's smash on in. <laughs> I should have tapped there. All right, let's play the shield mate. Um, I guess we don't... Well, let's play the shield mate. But I guess we don't really want to um, go too, too wide, eh? We don't want to go too, too wide. Let's activate. No, I could have used that. If I had just activated one more time, we would have seen that run amok. Bergy, sure. Okay, so this time, if we properly tap down the Berg Strider, um, he has to block the Firewalker, which puts him to three, two, one, almost lethal. Hey, he gave up. <laughs> gave us the win after I totally messed up on uh, tapping down the Mistwalker there. I think it still would have ultimately resulted in the same turn that we were on there. But yeah, there was no coming back from that. So that means we've got a round three to win the pod, but not yet the tournament. Hey, everybody, here we are trying to win a pod against AF Gaming, fellow Canadian. This is how we win a pod. Oh, AF mold. So we foretell Dwarven reinforcements on two, cast it on three, drop a showdown, and go vroom, 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 vroom. I think that's what we do. I think that's what we do. I think we go vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, no, AF. That was a mold of five. AF, no. AF, no. AF, my deck eats molds to five for breakfast. Um, what's better? It's better to play shield mate and firewalker. It's better to have a two, one, and a three, two that do stuff rather than have two, two, ones. That's an easy, easy answer. Shield mate into firewalker into showdown. Mold of five, all three colors. Pretty sneaky. There's no way he's going to trade here. There's unfortunately no way that I'm going to trade here, though. Let's go zoom zoom. Let's go zoom zoom. Hidden land drops. Do you want more land drops? Do you want more colors or do you want blockers? I'm super excited to get my hair cut sometime in 2022. That'll be great. There's way too much of it. <laughs> yeah, shield mate firewalker is one more point of damage. It's one more point of toughness on the board. It's creatures that have abilities. 
it's just better than the dwarven reinforcements the downside is that showdown of the skulls on four it would have been easier to cast um like a firewalker and a cavalry or something than it will be to cast a dwarven reinforcement and something okay so nothing here I mean, we're going to go zoom zoom. If somehow everything goes sideways, I'm pretty happy to axe guard cavalry and foretell the dwarven. I don't know that things are going to go sideways here. Pretty happy with that trade. If they use a combat trick or something, I'm pretty happy to get it out of their deck or out of their hand. Nice, easy trade. So we've got a bunch of one drops we can hit with Skeld next turn. So I don't hate Cavalry for Tell the Dwarven here. Because maybe we're dodging a... Um... There, there's something instant speed. I don't know if we're dodging a Disdainful Stroke or what, but there was something instant speed there. Presumably, ooh, Grizzled Outcast. That's minorly problematic. We've got a we've got to hit a lot of stuff off the show down here because a five five is not what I'm looking to to deal with, and that verdict does not help out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That 5-5 five is going to be trouble. I guess it would be fitting if they mold to 5 and then 1 because of a 5-5, five five, eh? How close are they to copying it? Oh, they don't have blue. They don't have blue. They're not that close to copying it. Oh god, deck, stop deck deck please um so let's go with walker get a counter on shield mate dwarven reinforcements get a counter on shield mate that's 10 lands in our top 17 <laughs> there are six lands left in our 23 card deck <laughs> Oh, Magic the Gathering, folks. Magic the Gathering. Let's get that battle going. <laughs> uh, we've got a lands Y emote for a reason, you know? You know? I almost feel like I need to attack in with that Firewalker to get something off the top, but I guess we're on find our flyers, find our hammer. But that's a brutal amount of lands to have. We're almost wide enough to go around. Not really. They eat one, they take... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They go to seven. They eat another one. They take three, four, five, seven. Oh, yeah, actually, actually, we are mildly close. Okay, so Tormentor's Helm is a start, right? Because we can Tormentor's Helm. Get that up. And then we can suit up. Like one of these. And then we can try to go around, hope we hit something off the Firewalker. Because if he blocks the Firewalker, he's still taking 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's still going to 4. So in. And we need to hit not a land off that Firewalker. You'd have gotten Firewalker to 5 and pump with Helm. I mean, why? Why? It would have been a 4-2. Helm would have made it a 5. Like, I didn't know that I had the Helm coming, right? Uh, 
All right, so removal's happening here. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I cast the helm to get a 1-1, one, one, so I would have made it a 5-4. And then what would have happened? The same blocks would have happened, right? Freely eat the creatures that draws cards. You want it to be a trade. Yeah, that's fair, I suppose. God damn, that run amok was right where we needed it to be. <laughs> oh, I got to feel a little bit bad about that. <laughs> a little bit bad. Thank you very much, AG. Yeah, that run amok was... Pretty decent. Always lucky. Always lucky. That's the motto here. Ooh, that priest doesn't do anything at all. Um, so I guess we tormentors helm up this fella here. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. That looks like lethal to me. Smash. Yeah, this deck's pretty stupid. How many times have I been on the other end? Fair. Very deeply, powerfully fair. There's not much that can go here. What what could happen here? Mists my four three block the firewalker take four. So obviously something's happening here. I would like to inquire what it is. That's 11 of our lands. There are five in our remaining 19 cards. All right, so that's six. So he's going to go to one. This is too many freaking lands. Luckily, Tormentor's Helm should close the door here. Tormentor's Helm being a flick is just... Kind of dumb. So I think what we might do is actually split those Tormentor's Helms up too, just so we don't have excess mana waste. So let's split one of these over to... Actually, Crippling Fear. We didn't see one, but it's minus three, minus three. So just in case of crippling fear, we move these over to the cavalry so that the cavalry won't die. There we go. Woof. Game two. Game two. That was a mold of five. That was a mold of five. I think I'm going to do what I always do, and I think I'm just going to go faster. Like Frenzied Raider in. Craven Hulk. Out. Removal is a feed and a poison. Probably want a shackles. I don't mind a shackles. But you got to remember the shackles is being a little bit rotty because it's literally just for an outrider at the moment. Um, When the shackle... I, I guess the shackles is technically a creature but it's only a creature if it's presenting us with a valid attack. And it would be a shackles in for like a dwarven reinforcements, I suppose. But we could go shackles in for a dwarven reinforcements and that lowers our curve a little bit more. So let's try that. <clears throat> oh, did I not start a battle? I sure didn't. AGL Saka with the most kills, Atomic with the most assists, 5 gold to everybody, Ruckus with 3 rogues, 20 gold for Crazy Matt Captain. Let's collect our stuff. Let's go to the Cyber Gateway. Pop your units in every 5 minutes, we'll get back to that in a bit. Oh, I would love to win another pod. Is it worth it playing a blast? 
Oh, Warhorn Blast? No. No. It's super situational. It's just not worth a card in the deck. Like, it's a good plan in the specific situation that it works, but... There's a lot of places that it doesn't work. And I can be go wide. We were go wide that game. I wouldn't say we've been go wide in a lot of our games, though, is the issue. There's just as many games where we won by putting a hammer on one thing and attacking with it, putting a hammer on one thing and attacking with it. I haven't found this format very friendly to Warhorn Blast. I have seen formats that are very friendly to Trumpet Blast style effects. But I feel like they're actually falling kind of prey to the the modern era of magic. Dang, this hand looks good. We just have to find like a land and then a third land or a second land. And we've got time and that cavalry is going to hold that pick. This looks good to me. I wish we were on the play, but this hand looks good to me. That is a cavalry into please for the love of God, give me a third land so we can give it a pick. That's not what I want. Two more draws to find a land. And then if we get up to a showdown quickly, I think we start to close the door and for one, no play for tell. Okay. There's the land. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. One turn without being a struggle is going to be vital here. Please don't be a struggle. It's probably a struggle. If they don't struggle now, they're in trouble. If we top deck a Plains, we do get a Valkyrie, though, which is going to go nuts with that pick. This has got to be a struggle. and They, they must be thinking about struggling here. Struggling versus establishing the board, which is a, a tough consideration. I would not want to be thinking about that myself right now. But I think that's got to be what this what's going on right now. Possibly with a, nope, not a mixture of missing a land into a Varagoth. Okay, so a struggle still presents a problem, but we can start going and fix our mana here. And if they want to trade Varagoth, I'm pretty okay with that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, now we have to start making some choices. This Miracle Aid is an interesting include. I guess the Sentinel helps. Helps make the copy. Now, if they attack in just to put something on top, I wouldn't expect they waste their turn to tutor, but you never know. You never know what's in their deck, right? Because we're not presenting a lot back. We're presenting three damage. And like if they're... They could tutor a, a Lindworm to the top. And then we're in just all manners of trouble. But I think we're hoping a little bit that they don't have a Lindworm. Did they time out or pass? I think, I think they passed, right? They passed, the timeout didn't go, okay. So we we could attack in. We could also just drop like Righteous Valkyrie. White one, two. We drop Righteous Valkyrie. We put the pick on it. We give it haste. We attack in for three. If cavalry goes to the graveyard, then we've got Valkyrie. Plus Firewalker, I like that. So let's come in with Cavalry here. If 
If we trade with Veragroth, I'm super happy. If they take three and we get another treasure, I'm pretty dang happy. If we get another treasure, we probably make a Valkyrie. A Helm. Although I guess we figure this is probably Sip, right? Because they can cast that by tapping Varagoth with the Sentinel. Which again, I'm pretty happy with us getting a Valkyrie out of it. Valkyrie Firewalker would use all of our white sources as the trick. And then we'd have to still get in with the Valkyrie. No, my pick! I needed that for doing things really frickin' badly. Oh. Oh. God, no, why? Now we need a white source to do a lot of what's going on in our deck. You showdown to dig for a plains. This is our turn four, right? So we've already played a land. Using showdown does not feel correct here. We could Valkyrie Firewalker. We could Valkyrie Helm. The issue there is I'm certain this is a sip of poison. So we may as well establish the board rather than go all in on one creature that they just kill. Because we've got, what, seven planes? Where's our deck? We've got seven planes, 29 cards... Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me some, uh, some numbers here. 29 cards. We got seven hits. In the next two draws, the odds of us hitting a planes is 43. Next three cards is 50, 58. Next four cards is 70%. And we can try to dig harder with the Firewalker, perhaps. Poison the cup. Yeah, whatever it's called. Lots of grizzled outrider, and hey there, check that out. We had a planes anyways. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, so what we want to do, how much do you cost? We're gonna go helm. We're gonna equip the helm. We're gonna smash on in for four. We're gonna drop a righteous Valkyrie. And we're gonna pass the turn. <clears throat> As long as we don't get mind rotted here, which we haven't seen one yet, we show down, refill our hand, and go from there. They are re heavily stuck on drawing lands. I will happily trade Varagoth for the Firewalker, I think, so that they only get one tutor, because Firewalker is not coming in on the ground. Yeah, I will happily trade here. And they've got a dig for um they've got a dig for removal. <clears throat> so they're putting probably poison the cup on top if that's not what's foretold. And I feel like if it's foretold they would have cast it already. So I don't know what that foretold card is. I don't know what it is at all. Behold the multiverse? What other green foretell is there? What other green foretell is there? What other black foretell is there? 
I highly doubt they'd be splashing a raven form. Of course we draw more lands. Um, so I guess we showdown in case we hit a run amok. But one of these things is dying next turn, most likely the stalwart Valkyrie. <clears throat> yeah, they would have played Snuggle. They would have probably played Mammoth Growth. Sack two creatures is Black Fertel. It could be a Tegrid Shadow. That's true. All right, so there's the planes we wanted. So we get to come in for six here. It does feel like they have an instant speed effect. Oh, it is. It's one in a black to cast poison the cup. Interesting. So maybe that's a feed the serpent on top. So if that's a feed the serpent on top. If that's a feed the serpent on top, they're going to need to hold that up for Valkyrie. It also means that this grizzled outrider probably has to just die to our iron verdict which is decent so i think we i think we operate on them having drawn feed the serpent which requires their swamp their despair sentinel their grizzled outrider and two of their lands and that means we're going to load up on the shield mate the counters Binding. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's what they put on top. Okay, so. So, 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 -y, so, so, so. We are going to. Two, three, four. We are going to. Braggart counter on the braggart oh we can't do counter on the braggart right 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 but then we can firewalker counter on the braggart so the braggart attacks real nice and big next turn with uh, a helm and an untap they go and get their forest Yeah, you can't foretell from the exile. So like my intention, unless something horrible happens to our creatures, is throw a helm on the braggart, attack in with braggart. Although, 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 if we do draw a spell, we can cast the spell, put a counter on Firewalker, throw the helm on the Firewalker, attack in with both as five power creatures. Path to the World Tree, okie dokes. Ah, AF is playing many colors. Many, many, many colors. We should be able to punish this really well if there's a game three. <laughs> a dwarven hammer you say hi so we've got seven mana does he have the bridge I, I wouldn't expect him to have the bridge so we put the helm five six seven so we can't we can't play the hammer, make a token, equip the helm, and activate Braggart. But we could cast the hammer, put on the helm, and come on and slam. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we, we can't equip the hammer. I mean, we could equip the hammer. Five, six, seven. Do I have timeouts? It's very hard to see if I have timeouts. So we put a counter on the Firewalker. 
right? I didn't want to confirm that click, but I guess we did. And then it's two. I don't think I want the token. I don't think I want the token. I think I want the helm on the firewalker. And I want the ability to, ability to attack with all here. And I want to go in. And we can even find a run amok still. So yeah, so if we come in, we ask to see what the blocks are. Because our shield mate does die to Path of the World Tree. He can actually activate it this time. He has black, green, black, blue, white, and red by tapping the Sentinel and the Outrider. Okay, so we're going to see a block there. So... Doesn't it? Oh, right. It's two extra mana. I forgot about that. Um, so, I mean, I guess we want to see if we hit a run amok, right? And then we want to untap the braggart. We don't hit a run amok, so now we untap the braggart. And now with Firewalker still alive, how long do they have Death Touch for? Just the end of their turn, okay. Firewalker's no longer alive. So we're on Shield Mate and its subsequent counter. Shield Mate and its subsequent counter. And they're on mild top deck mode. Mild top deck mode. This is going to be a six. Uh, a 7-3 trample plus an extra damage. So it'll actually be 8 damage. It's actually... So he's going to 2. We've seen 8 of our lands. There's 8 out of 20. Oh, he's looking at his graveyard. I don't like that. Master Scald back the binding. Can't cast it. 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 Does it exile? It destroys. Can't cast it. Can't cast it. Deck. Deck, I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate just like every single last one of your guts. <laughs> There's what five lands left in our 19 cards now. How have we flooded this much in a 16 land deck? So now he kind of has to use binding on the token here, or maybe on the hammer, maybe on the hammer. Oh, nine lands. Seven in the deck, seven of 19. So that's 12 real cards. Both flyers gone is not good. Um, showdown gone. This is game two. So we still have a game three. Packmates okay ish, except I'm not a fan of them drawing a card there. Land for turn. There's got to be a binding on. Oh, I guess they just get to kill it with path. Is there any burn in this set? Not that I have. Another helm. Why do I always flood out? Always. Not always, but... Always. 
taken five. So we're dead uh, with them having removal in hand. There's not much that we can do. We're kind of playing to drawing shackles, I guess. But I don't think shackles is going to be enough. Not with that many blockers. Stop. So we play gold maw. They kill it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're dead. Oh, good game. Good game. Too many frickin' lands. I don't like the shackles. I don't care what Sidian said. I don't care what Sidian said. I don't like the shackles at all. Don't like them at all. So they're just splashing for path, right? I think they're just splashing path. I think they're just splashing for the path. Um, invoke doesn't do much. Invoke blows up stuff that's already been used. <sighs> Kaya's Onslaught is an option. We're lower on creatures now, though, eh? Because we took out Dwarven Reinforcements. We're at 14. We actually need more creatures, don't we? Yeah, we need to put a creature back in here. Shackles was a terrible idea to put in. It didn't come up, but Shackles is not what I wanted against this deck. It was exactly what I thought it were. Round one, we saw one big creature. Uh, I don't think we want Kaya's Onslaught. I think we want a creature. And I honestly think a Gold Maw Champion does more than a Shackles is going to do. So I'm going to put in a Gold Maw. And then let's just check our mana base here, 5446. Nine seven, yeah, I'm still pretty happy with that. All right, let's go back in, and we're gonna be on the play. All right, game three, for the pod, let's play first. I don't think we win on a mold of five. And this hand needs to not flood what we got of that. Uh, 33 card deck. We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so that leaves 10 in the deck. In the next five draws, the odds of us drawing a land is 85. The odds of us drawing two lands is 48. The odds of us drawing three lands is 14. This Magic the Gathering. We're going to keep it, and we're going to hope. There's no way in hell that's a mall. There's no way. You can't do that. Can't do that. We're a 16 land deck. Moles are going to hurt us. Um, like You have to remember your six is absolutely never, ever, 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 ever guaranteed to be better. Okay, we're curving out. We're curving out. No snow lands. This priest is just a blocker. Uh, let's fake the, the run amok here. Showdown can get us there if we find it. If my luck is always bad, then mulliganing is a terrible idea. Because my luck would make the mulligan awful. Um, do I want to cast the run amuck here? No, I don't want to cast the run amuck there. <laughs> we don't have a run amuck. Three colors. Boy, if we just get like turn five planar bridged here. <laughs> All right, 
So they, they are protecting the priest, which means they want the priest for killing? Or maybe just for blocking? But we now have to play as if we always have a run amok in hand, because we have suggested that as a thing. I guess the boast ability means we don't have to be careful about holding full control, though. Ice Hide Troll? Okay. Can't activate that. Um, so we will come in with Firewalker here. Um, I'm pretty happy with that trade. Do I want to boast? If I boast and we hit specifically Showdown of the Scald it's going to be atrocious. So I think I just established the board here instead of boasting. And now we see if we can go around them. Still no snow. Sentinel, okay. Harold. Miss? Yeah. Good old Harold. Always misses. Another shield mate. Okay, so we will... Our cavalry giving haste isn't the most important thing in the world, so we will full control to pretend we have run amok. And in. <clears throat> yeah, I might hit run amok, but run amok doesn't win us the game, whereas Skulls wins us the game. Hitting Scald there, or hitting Scald there would have significantly lowered our odds of winning. Hitting Runamuck there would have done three extra points of damage. Fairly happy with this. I will say at this point, I think it's crystal clear we don't have Runamuck. Because there's no way that we wouldn't kill, wouldn't uh, do run amok here. So that probably gives up the bluff of run amok, but so be it. Uh, Les Bolito, thanks for that follow. Uh, do I need another land down? At this point, no, not really. We haven't drawn a land yet, which, you know, good for that keep, bad for the odds of us continuing to not do that. Ooh, hello, Hammer. Team. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I do somewhat suspect that they're holding on to a, uh, a broken wings, which will murderize the Hammer, but you know, so it goes. We trade here. Again, let's completely give up the bluff that we have a run amok in any way, shape, or form. Let's play our hammer. Make our dwarf. Um, they had three mana up, right? They don't have a broken wings in hand. Or they had passed the turn. Because broken wings is instant speed. Now it's all on this hammer. All on the hammer. Packmate. All right, it's hammer time. Hammer. Hammer. Hammer attack move. 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 That's all we do. That's all we do here. I wonder if they they do not. In. Block with your packmate, sure. Take two, move the hammer. Bloop. 
pass the turn. <clears throat> yeah, Hammer gets eaten by Vandal, but nothing you can do about that. They just need to not have it. I'm not not going to play the Hammer. Path, mildly okay. They get to go find a snow land, which is going to up the power of that priest a touch. Oh, no more snow lands. Okay. Goes for a blue. Interesting. Why? Ooh, a liberator. Nifty. All right, so we'll go in, in. And if they get rid of their sentinel, that's cool. Is it worth playing out some lands for your saga or nah? Nah, not terribly. <clears throat> Damn it. I needed that. I don't think... I don't think we win this game now. Short of us finding our flyers as soon as humanly possible, I don't think we win this game now. And that Slumber Mound, green, green, red, one, two, three, that Slumber Mound kills our planes too. To activate path. Oh yeah, I guess that's all it's really for. Iron Verdict doesn't do much. And now we lose. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Doubtful they have Skull Ride holding lens is pointless. No, it's not, because they don't know what the card is in my hand. AF, come on. <laughs> we were playing a game of magic here. We were playing a game of magic that notably had gotten pretty random. And, uh into somewhat garbage time, but we were playing a game of magic. <laughs> we were playing a game of magic. Um, all right. So Iron Verdict, we can kill the priest. Rip us. I guess we kill the Sentinel. <clears throat> Coma just came down at the exact same time against Voxy. Gross. So we attack in with everything and they take one and kill everything I love. Sounds about right. So I guess we're still on find a flyer. I stand by this format being horrendously bad. Find and kill my braggart. But this is uh, sufficiently garbage time. I'll take four, sure. Two more bleaks, then we're back to a format where you likely can only play five color pairs. Yeah. <laughs> it has been, uh, I think, three years running. Maybe two years running of uh the spring set being one where i'm just like this is bad and then the uh or the the winter set and then the spring set being the one where i'm like this is even worse and then the core set resets and i love it and then the fall sets the fall sets have been some of my favorites of all time uh no attacks eldraine number two of all time battle for zendikar I thought it was in my top five, but then I remembered Mystery Booster exists, so it's like top six. <sighs> I guess I'll take seven. Maybe AF loses because they only have four minutes left. <laughs> <clears throat> you mean <clears throat> you mean Zendikar Rising, not Battle for Zendikar, right? Um, Tormentor's Helm, not enough. 
I said BFC. I always say BFC. I never mean BFC. You know full well I never mean BFC. I meant Zendikar Rising. Zendikar Rising was fantastic. What's above Eldraine? Unstable. And I'm not joking. Unstable is legitimately a very good draft format. Such cautious attacks. I'm going to kill a serpent and you can't stop me. Yeah, Unstable Draft. Unstable Draft is legitimately a very good draft format. Like, legitimately. Plus, it's got all the fun stuff going on. Stream still going? That's a good sign. AG, look at the board. Look at the board and ask that question again. If this was here, like, two turns earlier... He's down to two. We still not dead. But if this was, like, two turns earlier, it would have been better. But that is the end of us thanks for watching youtube another fun sweatsuit invitational i guess i'm rounding out my my collection i have a semi-finals finish i have a round three finish and i have a round two finish next week we get the finals finish see you next <laughs>